Hey everyone, it's me again. Well, um, there's no escaping this thing that's going on in my head. The um, old broody feeling. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so broody. And as a lot of you know already from what I've spoken about, and don't want to really rule out having a fifth baby, a fifth child. And just recently, I've been like, oh, how can I explain it? It's like my heart is just, I don't know. I'm just broody, I guess. I'm just like a normal person. But when I speak to, well, I can't speak to family about it. I can speak to friends about it. But a lot of people say to me, you must be mad. I don't see it as being mad, I'm just a maternal person, I suppose. Not mad, but maternal is the phrase that I'd use. Can't talk to my mum about it because she thinks I'm crazy. She's not a maternal person at all, not in the slightest. And I've got a lot, we've got a lot on our plate at the moment, with four. And we don't plan on having one anytime soon, but we really do want another baby at some point. Um, I just... I don't know, I hate the thought of having no other children, watching them grow up and watching them learn and grow and thrive and it's just, it's not something that I don't ever want to experience again, especially giving birth, I've got, maybe I'm a bit crazy but I just love giving birth, I love it, I love the feeling when you're pushing your baby out, simple, I think there's a name for somebody with a problem like that. My other option is surrogacy, but I'm not so sure I'm that sort of special person at the end of the day. Because you've got to be special to be a sur surrogate parent at the end of the day, I think. But, yeah, I want another baby. <laughs> and if I didn't have this coil fitted, then I would probably stop taking my pill by now. But because I've got a coil fitted, it means I've got to go to the doctors, I have to explain to the, my nurse, why I want it out and then I'll get the questions of will you cope if you have another baby and I just don't see why I should have to explain myself to people if I you know I can cope with four I cope with two on my own then one more you know the only thing that concerns me is that the others will be missing out and and I'll be missing out on helping them with things but you know that's your job as a parent you don't let them miss out you throw your all into it and you do it <laughs> I'd love to know from any of you watches of mine and I know there are a few of you who have like more than four children and how do you do it with like bedroom space and stuff and money uh, money is a bit of a personal question so I'll wipe that one out <laughs> but how do you do it with room and space and everything <sighs> I wish people would people would just stop getting pregnant so that I'm just not broody at all it is contagious <laughs> but I really want baby number five. <laughs>